One of the functions of the Great Pyramid is considered to be the conversion of static electricity into an electric current. The blocks that make up the pyramid, thanks to the presence of quartz crystals, exhibit the piezoelectric effect. Deformation of the blocks leads to the formation of charged particles that accumulate on its walls, and vice versa. Applying an electrical voltage to opposite walls of a block causes a change in its shape and size, known as the reverse piezoelectric effect. The solution used to fill the gaps between the blocks contains substances like limestone, making it a conductor. This allows electrically charged particles to flow to areas of lower concentration, thereby equalizing potentials. Mechanical vibrations of the Earth's surface create clusters of gravitational disturbances inside the pyramid. The vibration of the blocks forms areas of increased concentration of electrically charged particles. Due to the partial electrical conductivity of granite and the location of the king's chamber, an electrical discharge occurs, transferring charged particles from areas of maximum to areas of minimum intensity. The current flowing from the king's chamber to the ground induces vibrations in the central part, leading to the formation of charged particles on its walls. These particles flow into the grand gallery and can accumulate on its walls, using it as a capacitor. Depending on the phase and direction of the propagation of gravitational oscillations, the grand gallery regulates the passage of electrically charged particles through different layers. Conductive beams installed in grooves along the walls of the grand gallery serve this purpose. In the tunnel connecting the grand gallery and the descending tunnel, three ring blocks are installed, providing isolation for direct current between the earth and the central part of the pyramid. These blocks act as a dielectric under normal conditions, preventing the leakage of charged particles from the grand gallery to the earth. But at the moment when the quantity of charged particles in the central part of the pyramid relative to the earth exceeds the maximum level, a breakdown occurs, and a current begins to flow along its walls. At this moment, the potentials of the earth and the pyramid are equalized. The result of repeating these processes is an electric current of charged particles pulsating at the frequency of gravitational disturbances and aligning with them in phase and direction. The direction of the flow of charged particles in the central part of the pyramid spatially coincides with the direction of gravitational disturbances.